Fire safety, can we roll? Fire safety, can we roll? We have glowing. Check that truck out, please. We do have glowing headers under the hood. If you can check it out, please. Are you willing to blow the tires off the rear of it? We will do whatever is necessary. That's what I want to hear. What I heard, ladies and gentlemen, is that it was in full send mode. I see a big number 11 on the dash. Apparently, that means it's all in. The paddle shifters are on. Traction control is off. Transmission is in track mode. Suspension and steering are in track mode. I believe Dodge messed up though. It should have burnout mode. What's the plan? You gonna sit, sit still or you gonna whip it around a bunch? I'll whip it around. You gonna whip it around? Yeah, so, I mean, I've got so, these Mustang sir. wheels on here, so I hope it doesn't make me wreck. What is your name? Oh, but man. I've go got the Mustang wheels, boys. Stay away from the wall. So, so <laughs> All right, Mopar fam, we are about to start the burnout contest at Moparty. Sounds gnarly. <laughs> Got boosted motorsports in the house in the Hill Coda. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear I it didn't for know Chad. he was gonna do a burnout contest with it. I can't race this, so okay. we gotta burn it out. There you go, man. <laughs> What's the plan? Bunch of cats asses or I don't know. Whatever right. whatever happens, happens. So I put the burners on, so we'll just send it. Whip it around a lot or just sit still? Look at everything. Hell yeah. Who thinks that Chad and well, the good Square luck, man. Dakota right, just Full send, baby, full right. send. Is this another the truck right here? It is. I think this you did it last year, didn't you? I did. I remember this truck. What's the plan? Yeah, you gonna sit sit still or you gonna whip it around a bunch? I'll whip it around. You gonna whip it around? Yeah, so, I mean, I've got so, these Mustang sir. wheels on here, so I hope it doesn't make me wreck. What is your name? Oh, but, man. I got the Mustang wheels, boys. Stay away from the wall. So, so Weston, you, <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You a YouTube Give it hell. And you may or may not have done some modifications to this year hot rod. I agree. Got another so, Ram in the house over here. I didn't see this one last year. Did you do it last year? Uh, it's first year. It's all lightweight. right on. What's the plan? Is you just gonna whip it around, sit still, burn them down? Uh, figure it out when I get out there, man. A little there both, hopefully. Put the gas pedal down and see what it wants to do, yeah. right? Yeah. There you go. Good luck, man. Thank you. Yes. Okay, get it on, big dog. Go out there. See ya, Adam. Got a big truck over here now. I like it. It looks cool. All right, guys. I'm really interested in this truck right here. I want to see what kind of burnout we can get out of this. This is totally different right here. If this thing actually does donuts, that's going to be awesome. All right. This definitely was not in the contest last year. No, I only built it this year. But it's its third burnout contest, so is it? it's got some miles on it. So what's the deal? Is it going to sit and burn out or is it going to swing around? It's going to do whatever I want. Oh, there you go. There you I got go. a rear brake shut off so I can drive it like nothing. No brakes in the back? Rear's welded, so... Locked and uh, welded diff? Yep. I mean, looking at it, you wouldn't think it could spin the tires, so this should be pretty cool, right? It's on 15 pounds. Put it on the two-step and drop the clutch in third. Hell yeah. Alright, man. Good luck, bud. Thank you. Got an old classic right here. I think this truck did it last year, didn't it? It did. I did. I, I got robbed seen it. at a first place last year. Oh, he said he got robbed. Beat. He got robbed. So what's the plans? I remember it last year. You're gonna sit and sit and burn them down. Oh, or you're no, gonna I'm swing gonna it. Do donuts and everything. Yeah. I'm gonna let her eat all the way. Oh, Full board. Yep. Not gonna let up there until you it's go. time. You gonna pop the tires? Or you gonna I'm try hoping to keep they pop. You hoping they pop? I hope they pop. All right, man. Good luck, buddy. Let's yes, see how it goes. Let's not get robbed this time, right? Know, right. All right. So, Josh, are you? What's under the hood? Uh, it's a stock 5.9 Magnum with head gaskets and studs, and that's it. And the and the head gaskets are back there, and it does have a turbo on it, right? 
Yes, it does. How big? Uh, it's a 69 millimeter making 15 pounds. That's awesome. All right, dude, go over there and see Adam and we'll make this run. I love it. Everybody give him a big round of applause. Woo! The 51 Dodge Dooley. This thing is cool. So him and his wife, who's over there somewhere, she um, was laughing like a little girl riding shotgun in this thing sideways around this big dirt oval and it was awesome super cool to watch in theory he should make twice as much smoke as anybody else he has four tires on the back right dually burnouts for the win let me hear from all the people that own duallys you're awesome i own one also it's big block power just the wrong big block for you guys. Oh, there's a lot I don't know. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Fire safety, can we roll? Fire safety, can we roll? We have glowing. Check that truck out, please. We do have glowing headers under the hood. If you can check it out, please. Hell yeah. Nice. Can I get a oh yeah, baby? Woo! So, how many of you think that right now Josh is the winner? And it made all the right turbo noises. Great. What is up, James Speed Shop? All right, so, James. Hold on. I have all these different Ram trucks here. James Phipps. Where are you out of? Valdez, North Carolina. Valdez, North Carolina. Where is that compared to, like, Charlotte? Um, probably an hour west. Okay, an hour west of Charlotte. You came out here just for Mo Party. Did you drive this thing here? Drove it, yep. Drove it all the way. So if you break it, it's going to be bad. Oh, yeah, I'm bad. Is that going to keep you from sending it? Nope. Ah, he says no. Nope. So do you think this thing will blow the tires off of it? You did put good burnout tires on it. Give me more than a minute, I can. <laughs> One minute, son. That's what you got. Go see Adam over there and line it up. I like it. He's been running it on the drag strip and the autocross, and I approve. James Phipps out of North Carolina. Let me hear from all you D100 fans. Right? I'm telling you. Oh yeah, look at the shift light on. It's just sitting up there on the limiter, shift light all in. Oh, those tires sound pissed off. Oh, if it's in high gear, you might be able to blow it. Uh-oh. You 
That'll cool off, they'll never blow. All right. James getting a little out of bounds there, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big round of applause. Okay, let me hear you if you think James in the D100 right there is your new leader. Let me hear you if you think that Diedrich is still your leader in the 51 Dodge Dooley. You ready for another one there, Adam? Uh-oh. I hope you didn't hear what I said about round Dakotas. Ooh, it's evil. So it's the Helcota, and it has a Hellcat emblem on it. And it's John O'Malley. It's a 99. So John, you built this thing, you're Boosted Motorsports, and you built this thing on your YouTube channel, right? So tell us a little bit about what's in it. The dash is clearly straight out of the Hellcat, like all of it, right? Yeah, this is a Dakota that thinks it's a Hellcat. So everything underneath this thing is as Hellcat as it can be. How about the rear end? Uh, that is a beefed up nine and a quarter. So still all Mopar. Yeah, of course, of course. I love it. All right, do you think you can blow the tires off of this thing? That's the plan. We got the crappy ones on, so let's go. All right, go see Adam and get ready. Let's hear it for the Hellcota. If you haven't seen this thing in person, you need to go check it out. Because the the dash, the center console, the seats, they're all from a Hellcat. In fact, the door panels, I mean, they look straight out of the Hellcat. I mean, obviously, those aren't going to just mount up in a Dakota, so there's a lot of work done there. But this thing's pretty cool looking. I got to tell you, I'm not a fan of, like, new car dashes and older cars. This one works. It does, not gonna lie. I might have to take back what I said about round Dakotas. Or maybe not. Oh, pedaling the thing, doing a little drift action. Not gonna blow tires that way. You gotta get the heat in them. By big speed. Big wheel speed is what's required in order to blow tires. Uh-oh. It's out of bounds. Curve it around. Come on, John O'Malley. Get that thing in the middle. for John O'Malley! All right, if you think John O'Malley in the Helcota is your new leader, let me hear you. If you think Josh Dietrich in the 51 Dodge Dooley is still owning this deal, let me hear you. Dude. Are you Chris? Okay, so Chris Brightback, is that right? Brightbach, okay. So Chris, it's a 78 D150 Warlock. What's in it? Stroker 400, 470. Nice, so low deck 400, stroker kit, 470 cubic inches. What kind of power does this thing make? I don't know, we're about to find out. Will it blow the tires off of it in 60 seconds? We'll find out. I'm scared, though. What are you scared of? See, I put these Ford Mustang wheels on it. I'm afraid it's going to make me wreck. Oh. That's a good fear, my friend. I'm not going to judge you. The good news is you have a lot of space, and I trust you. Awesome. 
All right, go see Adam over here and we'll get you all set. This thing sounds rowdy, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear you scream if you think you can blow the tires off the Mustang wheels. I mean, they're Mustang wheels. Like, how can they keep up with Dodge power, right? Okay, maybe that part is. Wow, it's done. Was that a 360? Chris Bybog. Bybog looking good. Uh-oh. It shifted. look good you got to admit I like it all right ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for Chris Breitbach all right ladies and gentlemen let me hear you if you think that Chris Breitbach and that warlock is your new leader all right let me hear you if you think the 51 Dodge Dooley is still your leader All right, let me hear you if you think this dude is seriously insane for doing a burnout contest in a car this nice. Wow. Dude, okay, couple of things here. A, this car is really nice. Wait, okay, hold on. You are Kenny Matlock, right? So Kenny, you are our first older muscle car. This is a stick car. It's, uh, it's actually on a Viper chassis and got a Gen 3 in it. So. so Viper chassis, Gen 3 Hemi, but it is a stick car. Yeah, so it's got a six speed, independent rear. And do you think you can kill a set of tires on this bad boy? Sure, I'll kill them harder if you're gonna buy me some. I ain't gonna buy you nothing, but you'll get $500 if you win this deal. I'll buy me one, we'll be good. To buy you one is right. All right, big dog, we need you to pull over there to Adam. This thing's gorgeous, dude. What a car. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Okay, that car is way too nice to do a burnout contest. Do you see how big the tires are on the back of this thing? That is gonna make some smoke. But all right, let's hear it for the 68 Roadrunner. stay out of the water over there okay so the bad news is the big tires they're sticky now oh there you go maybe a little clutch kick out there and help them hemi power viper chassis and a beautiful 68 roadrunner body Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause for Kenny Matlock and the 68 Dodge Roadrunner, Plymouth Roadrunner, sorry. I know, don't hate me, because I'm pretty. Okay, who's ready for our final competitor? Okay, but first we have to vote. Who thinks that Kenny Matlock is now our leader? Okay, who thinks that Josh Dietrich in that 51 Dodge Dooley is still our leader. All right. 
Kevin Wesley. You are... You're the last hope for the Gen 3 Hemi crowd. So Josh went out there, he has a dually. It's got four rear tires. Makes twice as much smoke. It's got a turbo, made all the right noises. This thing makes all the right noises though, right? Yeah, and Chad had Bill Stein, so we're gonna root for Chad too. Well, there you go. So, do you think you can own this deal? Uh, we're gonna try to own this deal. Are you willing to blow the tires off the rear of it? We will do whatever is necessary. That's what I want to hear. What I heard, ladies and gentlemen, is that it was in full send mode. I see a big number 11 on the dash. Apparently that means it's all in. The paddle shifters are on. Traction control is off. Transmission is in track mode. Suspension and steering are in track mode. I believe Dodge messed up though. It should have burnout mode. Okay, we'll make that a suggestion for next time. Are you ready? He has the race gloves on. Okay, go see Adam. Adam's gonna get you set up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Kevin Wesley. Burnout mode. That's what we need. We need burnout mode. We need to be talking to Mopar. They're always in burnout mode. Amen, bro. Kevin Wesley, our final competitor in the 2019 Challenger Scat Pack, trying to take over from Josh Dietrich. Oh, starting off with a slow roll. Trying to cover some ground. Not a bad strategy. But I think he's going to need more smoke than that, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Give him a big round of applause though. That thing is looking good. Our Bill Stein Shocks 2019 Scat Pack. Smoke in the tires. A lot of car control right there. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. How many of you think the Scat Pack Challenger is now your leader? How many of you think that Josh Dietrich in the 51 Dooley is still your leader? Your winner, Josh Dietrich in the Dooley. Now, hey, we have a runner up though. So, how many of you agree with me that our runner-up is the Black Dodge Square Body Dakota? Can I get a hell yeah? All right, there you go. Sparky, send out Dietrich. He's your winner. Your runner-up is the little Square Dodge Dakota.